You keep Avery. Well, about uh, three, four months. And I eventually realized that uh, my revenge was tearing my family apart and hurting everybody that I loved. Especially Avery. <laughs> so the uh, only solution was to give Avery back and forgive my father. Just like that? Oh, well, giving Avery back was the easy part. Um, forgiving my father, not so much. But, uh, yeah, I eventually, I eventually got there. That's remarkable. Well, I mean, not really. It was a shift in perspective, you know. Avery didn't deserve to be used as a trophy, you know. She's just a little girl. And once I was clear on that, you know, the rest just kind of fell into place. Anyway, the point I was originally trying to make is uh, that I played... Uh, I played dad for a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, I was, uh, I was just, I just remembered, uh, this one time I brought Avery. <laughs> I brought Avery to work and uh, we had this big investor come in to my office. And where was I? I was on the floor playing blocks. Aww. No, no, uh, I mean, I'm already notorious for looking so young, right? Oh, um, Bill Hill. No, so, so here <laughs> I was, already looking young, playing blocks on the floor with a baby. So, I mean, needless to say, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't close that deal. Well, then that investor is super short-sighted. Anyone who is going to get down on his hands and knees to play blocks is someone engaging and thoughtful and committed. And if it had been me, I would have totally invested with you. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? I, uh, I think I should give Brad a heads up for a while. I don't I don't want to blindside him. Yeah, good idea. You think you can, you can wait with him, Riley? Are you kidding? Right. Be my pleasure. Right. Come on here. All right, I'll be right back, okay? With somebody who's going to be very, very happy to see you.